This is Dabu7. Some updates here regarding Russia, the United States, and all the stuff surrounding Syria. And right at the gate, I want to talk about how one of the doomsday planes launched right after there was talk here earlier today of making moves in Syria. We have the Boeing E-4B Night Watch, which is one of the doomsday planes that took off from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and it flew towards Springfield, Illinois. Now, we also have Russia saying, in response to what the U.S. said, the U.S. said that they were going to strike any targets, and they're potentially Russian targets, and the chairman of Russia's upper house of their defense committee says that Russia will respond immediately if its military in Syria gets hit by a possible U.S. airstrike. So they're saying that they're going to retaliate immediately if something goes down. Now, in this area, they're putting up a 72-hour no-fly. Airlines are being told to stay away from Syria by European air traffic control within the next 72 hours. And of course, everyone's waiting to see if Trump says something this evening in regards to this whole matter. Now, let's take a look at this map. This is where things start to get interesting. When you see exactly where everyone is sitting, well, the U.S. also just stated they're sending an aircraft carrier in this direction. Let's talk about that real quick. As it says Trump will make the decision Tonight, there's an update, and then they're saying here that the USS Truman Carrier Strike Group and seven warships are heading that way. Now, let's take a look at this map here real quick. And we can see where everyone is set up. This is a huge boundary area, and you can look at this legend and you can see exactly what's going on here. Off the coast of Syria and then down here, Israel. Note, this is Russia with a massive exercise going on here and a massive live fire exercise on the outer rim of it here. This is Israel. An underwater mission that's ongoing right here. And then you can read the legend here to see what everything else relates to here on the map. But the United States sending these warships right in here into the region, stacked up, Russia here, Israel here, a lot going on. And to give you a better look at exactly what's happening, you can see we have RAF tornadoes flying all over the place right here, literally right above and around where Russia is doing its drill that we just looked at. You have Ohio-class subs in the region, and you have Israel and its sub stuff going on as well right here. Then we have the USS Donald Cook. You have a French frigate. So you have the UK, the US, and the French all mounted up here. You can see special forces right here. And if you look down here, it shows where we have F-22 Raptors. You can see the Truman Carrier Group and a bunch of others. They have B-2 Stealth Bombers and they have, they're coming from Missouri. And the one red here is the anti-aircraft missile launchers, the Russian equipment. And that's the headlines right there, as you can see. And this is a good look here at the surrounding area as it sits right now. Now, of course, this is what we know. Earlier, I put out one of the Poseidons. We flew a Poseidon in here, and it is circling. It's what they call the sub-killer, meaning it's trying to hunt for submarines. Now, we also know now that Israel has a massive drill going on, and it has subs down there as well right now as well as Ohio-class U.S. subs. So we have all kinds of subs, and you can guarantee there's Russian subs in there as well, and maybe even a few Chinese. 
But at this point, this is a look at some of the action there in the Mediterranean as they're talking about things heating up on this front. Just wanted to get these details out there. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. I'm going to leave links below. Much love, y'all.